the future site of a community center in Jeopardy. I'm Erica Natividad near Jane and Finch beside me. Construction on a storage and maintenance facility for the Finch West LRT. Now this land is owned by Metrolinks, who tonight are under fire for backpedaling on a plan to donate a portion of this land for a much needed community hub. Metrolink says once construction is finished here, they actually won't be donating the land at all. They'll be selling it to the highest bidder. You feel like you were cheated, right? You feel like you were misled all along. Local city councillor Anthony Peruzza says for years the understanding was that Metrolinx would turn the land over to the city to build the proposed Jane Finch Community Hub and Center for the Arts. That's why he was shocked to receive a letter from Metrolinx last week saying that wasn't going to happen. The letter read in part, Metrolinx understands that early conversations in the project cycle referenced a possibility of divestment at less than market value to be considered for the lands. While well intentioned, this consideration had not been properly internally vetted or approved as a reasonable option. It goes on to state that the transit agency will be putting the land to market when it is no longer needed after 2023. Because land, especially provincial land, is an asset. It's a public asset that needs to go through processes uh, uh, of sale. We can't donate it, for example. So there seemed to be some misunderstanding over the years. I don't know how that happened, but um, there was, and we clarified that we have to sell the land, but that doesn't mean the community hub can't happen. It just can't happen the way they, uh, it, it appears, understood it would happen. No, 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 that's not, that's not a misunderstanding. That's, uh, that's, that's, um, uh, if, if, if that's what they're saying now, then, then quite frankly, they intended to dupe us all along. That's not the language they used. That's not what they said. Uh, they said that they would be contributing that uh, for, for the project. Aikens notes there are still ways to move forward with the project, including having space for the hub as a condition of sale. Community advocate Tiffany Ford is just hoping the center isn't scrapped altogether, saying in an area often divided into turf lines, a community hub would go a long way in making kids feel safe. A lot of young people don't feel safe crossing over a bench uh, to different areas what's considered a different area to that because of different uh, issues, historical issues that play a hand that people won't understand. In a statement released today, Mayor John Tory said in part, I joined Councillor Anthony Peruzza and the Jane Finch community in raising concerns about the fate of the Jane Finch community hub. We all want this community hub to happen, and I am confident there are many ways for Metrolinx and the provincial government to work with the City of Toronto to make this important project for the Jane Finch community a reality. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.